we need to pray for your marriage. Yes, that's why I'm here. Hmm? That's why I'm because here. Because if not, I'm hearing Daniel. That's my husband's name. Huh? That's my husband's name. Let's pray for this marriage because I'm telling you, if we don't pray for you, this marriage can fall. Yeah. Oh, you hear me? Yes. And this Daniel is also having a curse. Oh, you hear me? Yes. From the side of his family. Yes. I'm seeing from the past that they used to marry many people. Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing them marrying one, two, three, four, five wives. Huh? Yes, sir. So I want to pray for you so that this disease is a disease. You know there's a problem of anger. Yes. Huh? Yes. So now it's a disease that is there. It's caused by this demon. So I will pray for you and God is going to help you today. Huh? Oh, yes, you know me? I'm so hearing, let's sir. pray so that Daniel must not marry the second wife. I'm hearing you, sir. Because already here there's a problem. Yes, there's a problem, sir. Mama, can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Mrs. Gunea. I come from Zimbabwe. And can you tell us the prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? The prophecy was about bleeding and also my marriage. And it is very true. What was happening in your marriage? Um, since last year, I've been having many problems in my marriage. Things like my husband was no longer interested in me. It was, it was like he was shoving me and not telling me the truth that he doesn't love me anymore. And I've been asking him where you, you are standing with the issue. And he has not been saying anything. He just said, keep quiet and just be quiet until I tell you what to do. Then it got an extent where I couldn't take it anymore. Like on Thursday, I was asking him the same question, if he still wants me or I should go. Then he, he touched me and pushed me to the, to the wall and I fell. Then I, I, I just said, maybe I should go and see and hear what the Lord will say about my issue. Because um, I had, I've, 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 I've had enough of all this and uh, it's only God who can help me and uh, if it's, if it's, if this is not, it's this, if this marriage is not from God I was even prepared to go but the prophet told you that you should pray for your marriage because if you don't do that it can come to an end yeah yes and he also talked about the case of polygamy in the side of your husband's family. Is that true? Yes, it's very true. He's from Mozambique. We don't know many people from, from there. But his father, uh, like his father had a wife before his mother. And then his brother, he also had two wives. The other brother had also two wives. He's not even married at, at, at the moment. Mm. Is it true that he also has a problem of anger? No. Yeah. And the man of God told you that this anger is being caused by a demon. Were you aware about it? Yes. And when he is angry, what would happen? He doesn't talk. You, you, you can get frustrated when he's just quiet. He doesn't talk. He doesn't tell you the way forward. <laughs> he just, he just keep, he keeps quiet. And how was this affecting you? It was affecting me very much because I couldn't do, I couldn't wake anymore. I couldn't do anything. Like most of the times I could spend the time sleeping at home, doing nothing. And is that the reason that made you to decide to come here today? Yes, yes, that's the very reason. And what is it that you wanted God to do for you concerning these challenges? Uh, I want, I, 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 deep down in my heart, I wanted God to restore my marriage. Mm. And now that you have received this word of prophecy of saying that you shall pray for your marriage or else it will fall, what is it that you want to do? Are you going to pray for your marriage? Yes, I've been praying. Yes, I'll continue to pray. And how are you feeling now that they've prayed for you and you've also received deliverance? I feel something has been lifted out of me because when he came, I, I was really angry. I was not, I was really angry and uh, I couldn't forgive him for what he did. Uh, it was a lot. Words of encouragement to others that are watching? Um, uh, I would, I would say to everyone watching that before you do anything, seek the face of God. Like in my case, I was deciding to go, 
but uh, I said, let me seek the face of God first. Let me go to Charis Ministries and hear what the Lord will say about my marriage. I want to pray for you. Let's restore this marriage. Because to me, I'm not seeing marriage now. Yeah, there's nothing. No? There's nothing. And now this I just said, let me come here and call him dear and dear from God. Because I'm, I was about to go. You want to go? Yeah. No? Yeah, I've had enough. <laughs> As I'm saying, I'm seeing, this Daniel, I'm seeing many, there's a spirit that if we don't pray, you can end up being the second wife. Because from, I'm looking back from where he's coming from. Yes, his, Are you his, me? his father had two wives. His father had two wives. His brother had two, had two wives. He's not married. And besides the ones that they're marrying, there are others outside. So I'm going to pray for you. God is going to help you. So you still want to go back to him? Yeah, I still want my marriage. Huh? I still want my marriage. God has restored your marriage. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. You must forgive him. Eh? Are you mm -hmm. what I mean? Yes. You must forgive him because of these things that are happening. Yes. So forgive him and God will, will help you. Yes. But I'm seeing people that are doing farming. No? His, his brother used to be a farmer. I'm, doing, I'm seeing farming, someone who's doing farming in the family. This mm -hmm. used to be because when I'm praying for you like this, I'm seeing tractors. He's, he's, pl he's planning to buy a farm. He's planning to buy a farm. Yes. I'm seeing tractors. God has given you that grace. So you people, I'm telling you, after this, you have been prayed for by uh, my father. I'm praying for you. God will see you through. Demon, come out! Your demon want to destroy this house. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! You demon! Bring her here. This person lost their job. Huh? Are you come? I see losing a job. Is this like a municipality? What is this? C2 of, what is this? Hmm? Come on! See, losing your job, and this is very bad, eh? The, I'm seeing a group of people that gather together. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out, you demon! You demon! Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Don't touch her, touch her. From here, you want to enjoy your marriage. Amen. Hey, the way you're so quiet. 